Welcome to Open Mic Night. Give it up for your host and MC, Michael Blank. Welcome back to Open Mic Night. Day seven out here in Austin. One of our fellow comedians drove in from Kansas City and surprised us. Shout out Cesar. Welcome to the crib. Happy to be here. I feel like dog shit. Um, I got really bad sleep the night before, and then uh, I only got one hour of sleep yesterday, so I'm trying to take a nap or something. Yeah, I was going to say, how was the 10-hour drive? Did you do it all in one go? No, I took a one-hour break, pulled over, slept uh, slept with a bunch of truckers. It was pretty cozy, you know? I got touched, but it is what it is. He got the air mattress. He was prepared. This is going to fuck up the ping pong, dude. He's going to move it. He's going to move it for sure. We got one air mattress right below the dartboard. If one of these darts fall, the whole operation goes boom. We got the second air mattress right by the ping pong table, but we're going to move it during the day so we can play ping pong. We now have 11 people staying here. We have eight beds, two air mattresses, and a couch, so we got enough room for everybody. It is Saturday here in Austin. There's not a lot of open mics going on tonight, but there is one at 9 o'clock, so we're going to try and make our way over there at some point. The fellas played ping pong and watched Kill Tony before heading out to the open mic. We're leaving for the 9 o'clock open mic at a smoke shop and hookah lounge. Should be fun. I don't think I've ever done an open mic at a hookah lounge. What about you, Brandon? I have never done an open mic at a hookah lounge. All right. <laughs> <laughs> There it is, guys, an outdoor open mic. I chose to take my son to the park today instead of right now. A new joke. We got in and out to eat while we wait for our turn. Great service, quality restaurant. We don't have them in Kansas City. On the stage, make some noise for Michael Blank. Let's fucking go. Let's get pumped. Allahu Akbar. We did it, baby. It was a very fun open mic out here on Airport Boulevard. There were a lot of cars around the open mic too, like in the parking lot over. They were especially loud during Phil's set. That's, that's the sound of laughter, guys. It's that new Nero Link update, hello. And then during my set, I just tried to talk about them because I figured they were so distracting. I might as well talk about them. Yeah, give it up for the cars, you know? Wow. Whoa, a guy with a big truck speeding through Texas. That's one of a kind. There's definitely not a million of those fuckers. I actually drove here in a giant truck speeding through Texas. Another giant truck, all right. Am I the one getting distracted by the cars or are they just distracting? I can't tell. I told one new joke about joining a gang. I was thinking about joining a gang, but then I realized isn't a gang a little bit gay? Just a bunch of guys running around coordinating their colors, gang banging other gangs? I mean, you can't say gang without gay, right? But no, yeah, so I decided not to join a gang. I joined a different organization called Boy Scouts, not gay. I told the joke about being a generous lover I'm a very generous lover. Whenever I make love to a girl, I always tip 30%. Yeah. I told the gay is a legal joke and I tried to add a new tag. You guys know it used to be illegal to be gay? It's true. I bet being gay was cooler back when it was illegal. Because back then, those weren't just gay men. Those were hard criminals. Sticking it into the man. Doing their time in the hole. Now if you want to be rebellious and break the law, you got to fuck an animal. Sorry, that's a tag I was trying out. Bestiality. And I closed with a joke about British people. I was talking to some British girls. And uh, you know British people, they have weird words for everything. But they were acting like we were the ones with the weird words. I was like, bitch, you guys call cigarettes fags. 
What do you call marijuana? The N-word? <laughs> right, British people. All right, thank you, everyone. Have a great night. That was the set tonight. It was a lot of fun. This smoke shop was cool as fuck. They literally had a gravity bong going, and I hit that too. How can you not, bro? That thing looked crazy. So I was doomed to get two stone here. Now, as I said, there's not a lot of open mics on Saturday. So that's gonna do it for the boys. Thank you guys for coming along. This has been day seven in Austin. We have two days left. One more chance to get on Kill Tony. Who knows what will happen. Goodbye, everybody. If you want open mic night to come to your city, then tap the link in the description and tell me what city I should go to next. This program is made possible from contributions by viewers like you. Thank you.